Hello everyone, this is Adam Shoemaker, rector here at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Charleston. Hope that you are doing well on this Friday afternoon. I'm here to pray with you today using the words of Psalm number 75. Psalm number 75, which can be found on page 691 in the Book of Common Prayer. We give you thanks, O God. We give you thanks, calling upon your name and declaring all your wonderful deeds. I will appoint a time, says God. I will judge with equity. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are quaking, I will make its pillars fast. I will say to the boasters, boast no more. And to the wicked, do not toss your horns. Do not toss your horns so high, nor speak with a proud neck. For judgment is neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the wilderness or the mountains. It is God who judges. He puts down one and lifts up another. For in the Lord's hand there is a cup full of spiced and foaming wine, which he pours out, and all the wicked of the earth shall drink and drain the dregs. But I will rejoice forever. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. He shall break off all the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. It is God who judges. Psalm 75 reminds us. It is God who judges. As we come out of our national elections, I believe that it is important that we remember uh, as Christian women and men that ultimately it is not our place to judge our neighbor. We live in a fallen world and those judgments will continue to get thrown around. But ultimately, ultimately in the end, it is God who sits on the throne. Ultimately, it is God who judges. Our job is to strive to live as God's beloved children, as sisters and brothers of the same human family. I believe it's important that we remember that uh, as we move forward, uh, remember our common bonds, not only as a church, but as a part of the same human family, and to do all we can to strive for reconciliation in this world. I'll leave you with that thought as we head into the weekend. We'll be back on Monday to pray with you using Psalm number 76. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you have a good weekend. Be safe, be well, continue to wear your mask, and you keep the faith.